question. All right, so it's recording. So hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us in today's session. My name is Jessica and I'm a counselor at Education Basket. For those of you who don't know us, we're basically an education consultancy that helps students apply to universities abroad. Uh, today, we have organized this session with our partners, Charles International School, based in the Czech Republic. I will introduce my guest speaker, Anastasia, who is the representative of Charles International School, and will be talking to us more today about the programs and how they can help students like yourselves. Uh, in case you have any questions throughout the presentation, please feel free to type them in the chat box and the session will basically be interactive, so we will discuss them along the way. Now, without any further delay, Anastasia, please, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Jessica. So once again, hello, everybody. My name is Anastasia, and I'm representative, as Jessica said, so of Charles International School, but also from International Student Network. Charles International School is part of International Student Network. So today we are going to talk about that. We are going to talk about Czech Republic in general. We are going to talk about universities. And in case you will have questions, we will be more than glad to discuss each particular case with you, give you some advice, answer all of the possible requests you might have during the presentation. So um, I will start sharing the presentation and I will try to make it as uh, informative and interactive. Maybe we'll skip a couple of slides to make it less boring. Uh, so let's start with the presentation. And okay, can you see the presentation well? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. So. Um, right now, I'm having call with you from Prague, and it's considered to be a heart of Europe for very, very, very many reasons. And um, every time when our students are arriving, I'm always asking them questions. Why you decided to choose Prague? And more importantly, after they've been studying in Prague for one year, two years, graduated, I'm still repeating the same question. Why and what do you like about Prague the most? And the questions that I'm getting from students, and I believe that's the best reference ever because they went through this way, they know it exactly, and they're always telling me that they feel like Prague, it was the special place that was specifically created for student life. And it really feels this way because Prague, it's a very small city. Um, we have only 1 million people living in Prague, so it's very easy to get from place to place. It's very safe. It's number 10 safest city in the whole world. And more than that, um, in Prague you always feel dynamic because this is the capital. We do have a lot of international students and um, we're going to discuss it today more. We do have a lot of really prestigious universities located here in the Czech Republic and in Prague. So because of this combination, um, it will sound very unusual, but you can find this calm part of Prague which is being quiet and peaceful and safe, but at the same time, you feel dynamic. You feel like you're in the middle, in heart of this student activities, student life, um, and you really feel like home because um, I can say for sure that uh, as, like all of our students of International Student Network, we do have more than 30 different nationalities. And it always feels like home, doesn't matter which country you are coming from. And this is, I believe, is one of the main reasons why so many students are choosing Czech Republic as their place for studies. So as I said, this is the heart of Europe and maybe this year it's a bit challenging to travel, but all the time, the huge benefit for all of the students is the ability to travel. You can go to Germany in one hour, you can go to Austria in two hours, you can fly to Paris just in one hour. And basically the whole location allows you to travel all over the Europe. And as a student, you do have the long-term visa with you, which means that you can travel all over the Europe without any limits. And for students, there are always some discounts, so it's convenient. And secondly, it's very cheap. So basically, in the end, it's ending up to be the perfect place to spend this, you know, exciting time of your studies of not only studying, but also traveling and enjoying this experience of Europe. This is the huge benefit for all of the students. And I really hope that very soon with all of the COVID situation, it will be possible again. 
So another thing why, of course, uh, students are going to Czech Republic, and this one I believe we'll discuss the most today, uh, it's of course universities. So all of you, all the people that are attending webinar today, uh, I believe you do have in mind some major that you are interested in. Maybe you've heard about some of the universities of the Czech Republic because they are quite famous. And today we are going to talk about top of them. There are much more public universities in the Czech Republic, but those ones are the most prestigious one. They're the most popular one. And also they do have, uh, they do offer a huge variety of majors for international students. So in Czech Republic, which is the great benefit, you can study in two languages. You can study in Czech language, which is a native language of the Czech Republic, and also in English language. And this is the great bonus because in case you as a student, Having a good language command, which is at least B1, 5.5 IELTS certificate or equivalent, you can enter those universities directly without any preparatory course, without any delays, like you make your application right now, and in September, we're already meeting you here in Prague, and you start your education in public university here in the Czech Republic. So uh, first university I would want to talk about, this is Prague University of Economics and Business. And it's quite famous here because I would say most of the local students and like the ones that are actually from Czech Republic, um, they really love this university and they love it for many reasons as well as international students. Uh, first of all, it's quite famous, it's quite modern. But the most important thing that in case you are interested in business, finance, economics, um, international business, etc., then this place is definitely the best one in the whole Czech Republic. Because when we are talking about QS rankings and QS rankings by major and subject, then definitely this university is the place you need to go in case you are interested in finance and economics. More than that, uh, Prague University of Economics and Business, they offer you very affordable tuition fee, which is 3,800 euros for the whole year of studies. And for one of the most famous universities, uh, economic universities in Central Europe and Europe in general, um, I would say this is very cheap price because the quality of uh, education provided and European diploma that you are getting in the end of your studies um, are definitely, definitely worth it. So another thing about Prague University of Economics and Business, that once again, if you want to travel and uh, if you want to explore some other universities, then that's the place to go. I will explain why. Basically, this university having the huge variety of partnerships. Erasmus, Erasmus Plus, Erasmus Mundus, uh, plus all the partnership universities in total, there are more than 400 different options for you. And you can spend, the first year you spend in Prague, but then you can choose different university somewhere, I don't know, in Japan, in United States, uh, in Britain. They do have so many options for all of the students. So basically you are traveling and you are studying in different universities, for example, in US, and we all know how much studies in US cost. They cost a lot, but you're still actually paying the same tuition fee of 3,800 euros for whole year of your studies. So definitely in case you are uh, looking for something to, you know, brighten your horizons, Prague University of Economics and Business, definitely something you should keep in mind. Another one is Charles University. And um, I hope that uh, you already heard about this one uh, because uh, Charles University uh, is considered to be the oldest in Europe there is like Charles and Bologna University. They are always competing between each other, but we still insist that Charles University was the first one to go. So basically this university is not only old one, but it's very prestigious. And basically when it comes to medicine, it's within top 1% best medical universities in the whole world. So apart from medicine, of course, as you can see on the right, if you can see this, I hope I'm not actually putting, <laughs> closing all of the majors, okay? 
So basically, as you can see, they do offer the huge variety of other options for students, including social science, sciences, politics, history, etc. And uh, I know that many students are interested in that. And because this university providing this, I would say they are old school, but they do have these traditions, the one that you want to be part of while studying history, politics, social sciences, and medicine as well. So tuition fees of the university, they start from 1,300 euros, and they can get up to 13,600 euros. We're going to separately talk about medicine right now. And here, general medicine and dentistry, the, the one that we are talking about. So basically general medicine and dentistry, of course, are those majors that are always in a high demand. And here you can see that um, tuition fees, they are varying from 12,000 euros to 14,000 euros. It depends on which faculty you are applying and depends, um, of course, is it general medicine or dentistry. So Charles University, they do have three faculties in Prague first, second, and third. Uh, they were very simple with naming them just by numbers. Um, and also they do have one in Hradec Kralove and one in Pulzen. So those are basically small um, towns that are located within, I don't know, maximum one hour from Prague. So you also can study there as well. So when we are talking about uh, admission requirements, uh, then of course you need to have the personal exam uh, and uh, Luckily enough for this year, uh, because of the COVID, I believe that's the only one good news because of the COVID, uh, you do not need to travel to Prague to get this exam because this one is going to take uh, place online. So usually all you need to travel to Prague or you need to travel to the nearest place. The nearest one is um, Dubai, would be from Lebanon. It will be Dubai, or you need to travel there, uh, or you first undergo the foundation course, and after that, you already apply to those majors. But once again, this year, in case you want to try yourself in general medicine and dentistry, you can do the whole exam online, which is definitely nice news. Okay, so here we go. Another thing which is pretty popular, and here in the Czech Republic, um, we are actually very popular for our technologies, uh, definitely. We were the one who invented uh, contact lenses. Uh, we were the one who invented fingerprints and we were the one inventing um, sugar cubes. So definitely important things that we could not imagine our life without, that's for sure. And uh, I believe the reason for that for sure is that we do have Czech Technical University, which is the oldest technical university in Europe, and it's within top 50 uh, best technical universities in the whole world. So we're definitely talking about high quality of education. The university has 100% employment rate after the graduation. It's officially stated on their web page. Um, and more than that, uh, from all of the students that graduated, I can say that all of them are graduated not only with a diploma in their hands, but they're graduating already with some experience because university working with the government, they're working with Samsung, iPhone, with all of those, iPhone, Apple, sorry. <laughs> they're working with those projects and uh, you're ending up in the end of your bachelor or master program already having those experience, already having the knowledge, the one that you need for your field. And so of course, after that, uh, your employment would not be a big problem for you. More than that, in Czech Republic, we do have the lowest unemployment rate in the whole Europe um, and basically, that means that we are inviting international students to Prague because we want to, you know, we want to you to finish the university and continue working. We do have 30% of working capacity basically empty. So we are looking for professionals who will be able to, you know, be good in mechanical engineering, IT, medicine, etc. And for all the international students that would plan to stay in the Czech Republic or stay in Europe. This is definitely a great chance. So when we're talking about tuition fees, um, they start from 4,500 and can get up to 5,100. It's also depending on major. 
So here you can see a bachelor's and master's. There's just a couple because basically this university also offering the huge variety of majors. And in total, in general, all of the majors that we are offering, um, I would say it's more than 500 for sure. There are plenty of them because basically we work with this universities and with public universities, basically the whole public system of the Czech Republic of the public universities. Um, so all of your requests, the one that you will send to us, you can just send it with the specific major that you are interested in. And we will provide you with all of the possible options that you might have in public universities of the Czech Republic. So in case you're interested in IT engineering, all the types of engineering, I swear I never saw such a big amount of different varieties of engineering in any other university as they do have a Czech technical university. So I can definitely say that this, this one is definitely worth it in case you're interested in those majors. The next one is uh, Czech University of Chemistry and Technology. So basically, this one is the biggest chemical university in the whole Europe. And uh, as you can see, the variety of majors is not that big. But in the same time, this university is offering you a specific majors that are very hard to find because there are not that many chemical uh, universities actually in Europe and the whole world. Uh, but um, Chemical University of Chemistry and Technology here in Prague is basically one of the most famous. So in case you are interested in this field of studies, uh, after this university, you can actually develop pretty nicely in this field. So as you can see, there are not only bachelors offered, but also master programs. So in case you already finished your bachelor, you can continue your studies here for masters already. So tuition fees starts from 3000 euros and they're usually fixed for all of the majors. Um, and basically the last university I would want to talk about today, and I'm trying to be super brief because as I said, there are plenty of majors, plenty of, of things, but I just want you to know specifically the universities that we are offering. And as I said, we're talking about uh, one of the biggest and most famous one, not only in Europe, but in the whole world. Um, and another one is Czech University of Life Sciences. Um, and so first of all, this university definitely, as you can see from the majors, uh, they do have a strong power in research when it comes to agriculture, when it comes to natural resources, etc. And it's considered one of the best in these terms uh, in Europe and in the whole world. And once again, you can find some majors that you thought you would never find in most of the universities. But on the other hand, this university is also offering those majors that are always in a high demand. We are talking about business administration. We are talking about economics and management, informatics. So basically those majors that like literally a lot of students from all over the world are applying each year. The benefit of this university is that I would say like, first of all, it's the biggest one. When it comes to territory of the university, it's the biggest one, it's agricultural. Uh, they do have a zoo, they do have winery, brewery, they do have fields, they do have stables. Like you really feel when you come to this university that you came to another city, honestly. And definitely this university is uh, very famous among international students. And you can find a huge variety of students from all over the globe there. So in case you are looking for some international options, Czech University of Life Sciences is a place to go. But I would say another very important thing about this university is that it's offering very low tuition fees. So as you can see, tuition fees are starting from 180 euros. And this is tuition fee for the whole year of your studies. It's very hard to explain that it's not a registration fee. It's actually the price you're paying for your studies for the whole year. Uh, and so it can get up to 6,000 when we're talking about masters uh, in business administration, etc. But usually fees of this university are very affordable. And right now, um, unfortunately, admission for some of the majors already finished for direct admission, it finished uh, in the end of... Uh, in the end of January, but from the last updates, uh, environmental engineering, uh, they extended 
the deadline, so you still have a chance to apply until the end of March. So basically, uh, this uh, faculty and this major is offered for the minimum price, uh, which will be uh, around 200 euros. And in case you're interested in lower tuition fees uh, and you would want to study environmental engineering, then definitely you should pay attention to this option because usually the deadline is already over. But this year, I believe we got lucky and the deadline is still extended. So in case you wanted to apply, don't miss your chance for sure. Okay, so at this point, uh, I finished with like the basic information about those universities and uh, you can always find out more about them uh, on our web page or in case you will ask uh, uh, education basket or ask uh, anyone from international student network we'll be more than glad to provide you even more information I just believe that one was um, the most uh, briefly relevant one uh, and interesting one about those universities. So do we have any questions about majors, about universities, or maybe at this point, any questions that you would want to ask? Uh, we do actually have some questions from the attendees. So um, Heba was, uh, was just letting us know that she's interested in chemistry. So if we want to discuss uh, her interests and the universities that may fit her. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, perfect. So once again, when we are talking about chemistry, then basically you, oops, okay. Then we're talking about University of Chemistry and Technology in here. And also there are some uh, possible options uh, at Charles University. So as I previously told you, in case you were having interest in some particular major, uh, and that's the benefit of it, since a lot of majors are offered, we are working with your application individually. Uh, so you do have an education basket and um, they will leave all of the contact details, etc. cetera. Um, and you will be able to ask any question about those majors majors that you are interested in. Uh, but definitely in case you are interested in chemistry, uh, then as I previously said, uh, Czech Republic can offer you those majors. And um, once again, University of Chemistry and Technology is pretty white famous. So being the graduate of this university is the, definitely a big development in the future. Okay, uh, do you have any questions? We also have Agena who is asking about scholarships for international students. Okay, uh, this question is uh, quite frequent, I would say. Uh, when we're talking about the scholarships, um, there are scholarships for all of the international students. Uh, it's not a lot, but when you're coming here, uh, basically as an international student, you do have um, like some payment which is around 100 euros like in two months etc uh, but basically what Czech Republic did as I told you before uh, we really want international students here and we're really making all of the possible conditions for them to come so rather than giving some particular scholarship to just one two I don't know hundred students we decided to build this policy in the way that we are having low tuition fees for all of the students because as you can see tuition fees starting from 180 euros plus as the student here in czech republic with your isic which is the student card you're having a lot of bonuses you're having a lot of discounts um, and uh, we will talk about living costs in czech republic later um, but uh, definitely that's basically overly uh, the whole prices of the czech republic are more considered to be as the scholarship plus if you are studying in czech language then you are studying completely free of charge so in case you're studying in the native language of, of the country uh, and all those majors that we have mentioned they are also available in Czech language uh, then definitely you can continue your further studies uh, free of charge completely. Uh, all right uh, Mohammed is also uh, letting us know he's interested in electronics engineering and is asking if there is an age limit for studying master's degree. There is no particular age limit, that's for sure. Uh, university, they do not have a thing like that. You can study at any age. Um, another thing is uh, the visa 
uh, process. So basically, in case you do have a big gap before your bachelor and master studies, you need to be able to explain that in the embassy when you will have an interview already with the ambassador. So um, in case you do have a clear explanation why, for example, in your 30s, you decided to pursue your degree in the Czech Republic, then you do have chances of actually getting your visa and then continue your master's studies here in Prague. All right, so for now, that's it for the questions. I think we can proceed with the rest of the presentation. Okay, perfect. So um, basically what I wanted to talk about is um, not only deadlines, but how the whole system works like, and what would be your steps in actually not only applying, but already coming to Prague and studying your classes here. So right now, as you can see, the last deadline for applications will be in March which is pretty soon. And when we are talking about March, that means that until the end of March, you need to have your CV recommendation letter, motivation letter already done. So basically for all of the students, we're advising to apply minimum one month or three weeks before the deadline date. Because from our side, we do have a team of our teachers that are working with us 24-7, and they're giving you advices about your admission. So they help you with the motivation letter, they help you with the recommendation letter, etc. And this is a very important point. So to make sure that you're not applying in last two days when you know everything is in a hurry and all of this and all of the students are usually making this mistake. Um, but in order to make sure you it better to apply as soon as it would be possible and further it will be from the deadline. So once you applied um, our team will start preparation of your documents. An important thing for direct admission is that the entrance procedures are online. So you do not need to travel to Prague. You do not need to travel to other country. You basically can get admitted to those universities sitting in your living room and preparing all of the necessary documents that you need to apply for the university. So usually those universities that they will require from you IELTS test, which starts from 5.5, but it also depends which major you want to study in the future. They will also require a CV curriculum vitae from you. Uh, they will require the motivation letter and some of them will also require um, the essay, basically essay on a given topic. So once again, the faster you will do it, the more time you will have for our teachers to make sure that you don't have any grammar mistakes, any spelling mistakes, and uh, they will make sure that the format of all of your essays, etc., are done perfectly well for the admission. And I will have it on the further slides, but I'm very proud to say that uh, because of this help, you know, 97% of our students in 2020 were admitted to the universities. And I believe that's a great number. And that means that actually it's totally possible, you know, to, to, to become a part of uh, universities here in the Czech Republic. So after you will submit all of the documents, uh, you can have also a Skype interview. Usually it's requested in all of the universities. Uh, and after that, once you will have your admission, we will start working on uh, visa. So from our side, we will send you the confirmation of your studies. It's supposed to be a hard copy. So we will send it straight from Prague, from the university. We are sending it to you. Uh, and as well as confirmation of your accommodation. And um, more than that, uh, we will provide you the full support, uh, International Student Network, Education Basket. You do have huge professionals here working with you. And they will be able to assist you with all of the questions you might have in the whole process. So after the visa application, um, usually it takes up to two months for the embassy to decide on your visa. And after that, once your visa was approved, you're buying insurance and we're meeting you already here in Prague. So this is how the whole, um, the whole process looks like. Uh, it sounds pretty easy, definitely. Uh, but I can assure you that there will be uh, some complications on the way because uh, each case is different and there are always plenty of questions. Uh, but in any case, once again, as I said, uh, we're always here to back you up with all of the questions you might possibly have regarding any issue. So once you will already come here to Prague, 
Um, what we will do from our side, let me talk a bit more about International Student Network. Um, first of all, first of all, um, arrival support that you're having is um, making you feel like, you know, um, you're completely safe and you have a smooth transition. So at the point when you step in the airport here in Prague, we're taking a full care of you. It's including, um, I don't know, airport transport, uh, then uh, transportation ticket for the whole transport for first months plus the whole card. Uh, it's including local SIM card. Um, it's uh, including all of the activities that provide it. And I can tell you for sure that your studies it's not only about the university. University is very important for sure, but it's also about this experience. It's also about feeling safe. It's feeling comfortable. You're still traveling to a foreign country and uh, you will have education basket there in your local country. They can always come to the office. Uh, you will have us 24 seven, but the most important thing is that you will have the whole international student network. And I'm talking about hundreds of students that already started their universities, uh, graduated students that the same position as you are applying, maybe for the same major, and they are always there to back you up. And you can ask any questions, you can have any support 24 seven. And that's the most important part, I think, because even today, uh, we do have a birthday of one of our students. Um, and as the whole international student network, uh, we are, you know, first of all, we are receiving in all the group chats, happy birthday from all over the world, the whole day long. And we are organizing some nice event for the student, etc. So this is what being part of international student network means. And I believe it's pretty important when you are studying, when you're a student and you're applying for university in a different country. So um, basically that's what we are. Um, and um, I also wanted to talk about one of the programs in case, for example, you do not have enough of knowledge of English language or language command, um, but you still want to study in the Czech Republic. Or for example, you do not have a certificate or a lot of students uh, when they are 17 or 18, um, they want maybe more smooth transition rather than just starting, you know, university straightforward. They want maybe safer options. And this is where we do have a foundation language course. So foundation language course we do have on a base of two universities, Prague University of Economics and Business, we discussed that before, as well as Czech University of Life Sciences. And uh, basically when we are talking about those foundation programs, you can learn English language, of course, during your studies, but more importantly, you are getting ready for your university. And Foundation programs here in Czech Republic work in the way that doesn't matter which university you are studying, Czech University of Life Sciences, Prague University of Economics and Business, after the foundation, you are able to apply to any university and any major. So it's designed in the way that you are studying language and also depending on your future major that you are interested in, for example, in case this is medicine, you are studying physics, chemistry, biology, uh, mathematics. In case this is engineering, you are studying physics, mathematics, etc. So it designed in the way that after the graduation, you will be able to apply for your desired university and major. And another huge benefit, like a very big one, is that you can apply to not only one, but you can apply for a couple in the same time. So you always do have a backup. So you can apply for five different universities, get admitted to three of them, and then choose already which one you would want to continue your studies with. So another important thing about the foundation is that, uh, remember I mentioned that you can study in Czech language free of charge. So those foundation programs, they are also available in Czech language. So basically during one year, you will be studying Czech language which will be pretty challenging. I'm not going to lie to you. It's Slavic language. It's, it's pretty challenging. Um, but our students, they're usually able to get to B1 level. And after that, uh, they are able to continue their studies already free of charge completely. So um, 
basically right now we finished the part with all of the academic programs and i hope that i'm not talking too much <laughs> so we finished with all of the academic programs right now are there any questions about any academic programs because now we will talk about life in the czech republic more rather than universities admissions etc uh, actually, we, we got some questions regarding the English language requirements. So some students are asking if something other than the IELTS can be accepted, such as the Duolingo exam, or if students have already completed their bachelor's in English, can they just get a letter saying that so they can study their master's? Okay, in case your previous studies were in English, no problems at all, you can pursue your further degree in English as well. Uh, in case this is Duolingo exam, unfortunately, it's not, um, it's not um, accepted. So they accept um, IELTS and TOEFL, and basically equivalent of the, the exam which is accredited on the territory of the Czech Republic and Europe in general. So usually, uh, two most famous one is uh, IELTS and uh, TOEFL. Some of the universities are not even accepting SAT exam, uh, but once again, uh, it's more about your individual case. So you need to know that uh, you should have IELTS or TOEFL, but in case you have some other exam, you, you can always text us, ask some questions, and we will tell you is it actually eligible for your chosen program. All right. Uh, and Agana also asked us about our contact details, so we will be share definitely be sharing that at the end. So uh, just look out for that at the end. Okay, so uh, thank you for all of your questions. Um, I expected a bit more, but maybe I'm doing my job too well. You don't have any <laughs> questions to ask. That's a very good sign. Um, okay, so uh, we finished with the universities, with the programs, and as you can see, there are plenty of options. I would say not even plenty, but a lot of options, a lot of universities, a lot of majors, options for students who uh, do not speak uh, English or would want to study in Czech. Uh, but as I said before, your studies is not only about the university, it's also about the experience, it's about the environment. And um, I would want to say a couple more words about um, your living time here, while you will be living in Prague, what you should expect. So I was talking about Prague as a beautiful city where you will feel dynamic, where you will feel um, as you belong, definitely part of the international family. But I know that important like, question for students is, can I work part-time while studying? And you definitely can. And most of our students, um, until the end of first year, I would say like 20, 30 percent already start working. But until the end of their third year, um, I would say 90 percent of people already working part time. It's very popular in here. There are plenty of options depending on your major or, for example, when you just started your studies, there are just like some some average job positions that you can apply for. So you can work 20 hours per week while studying. Um, and this will be able to cover some of your basic expenses, like for example, your accommodation, maybe some food, etc. So that's definitely a good thing to, to know. And of course, full-time jobs. Um, here you can see the average um, rates of um, prices, like wages per month. And of course, it depends on your major it's it can start from i don't know thousand euros uh and um, get up to seven thousand euros in case you're working it okay so um and since we were talking about wages uh, you will need to know that seven thousand euros in czech republic it's a lot of money really a lot of money because uh, even in comparison with our neighbors like with germany with austria we do have extremely low living costs. And this is great for you as for students. And as I said before, you actually do have plenty of discounts as a student. But here you can see like the basic, uh, most frequently asked expenses. Uh, and I would say as a student, you will need like from 350 euros, could be even less, could be 300 euros per month uh, to survive here in Prague. And plus, of course, accommodation, which we are going to talk about as well. 
so as you can see, entertainment is pretty pretty cheap and uh, transportation for the whole month uh, for all of the types of the transportation will cost you only five euros per month as a student. So as you can see, as I said, we're trying to create this perfect condition for student life. So it's including prices for, for living costs as well. So um, accommodation options uh, for you, as for the student, doesn't matter foundation program, direct admission program, doesn't matter. We also arrange accommodation for you. And we do have three different options, which starts from 190 euros. This is basically the cheapest one. Uh, this is the dormitory of the public university. And here you can see on the pictures, doesn't really look like Hayat, doesn't really look that amazing, but it's not bad. A lot of the students are actually choosing this one. It's definitely a lot of fun because usually it's like the huge uh, dorm where you do have, I don't know, more than 10 or 15 blocks and buildings and thousands of students living in the same dorms, just different blocks. Um, and it's very like actually pretty common um, option for, for most of the students and plus 190 euros per month, which is pretty cheap. Another options, it's like the private dorm already for 390. You can see like gym, etc. look pretty fancy. Uh, and uh, the most expensive one is basically when you do have something looking like the separate apartment just for yourself. So I'm not going to get into details about this one because this is the things that you are choosing already after uh, you you know your program, you know the university, etc. But just good to know that we do have different options for you as a student, and you will not need to worry about your accommodation once you will be here already in Prague. And I believe my favorite part, um, as I was talking already about this, uh, how does it feel to be a part of International Student Network? Um, it feels great. And uh, even as the person who are basically working with students, as uh, someone who are answering all of the questions, and um, as a student already here as part of International Student Network, you can ask any questions. It doesn't matter how frequently it is, doesn't matter how sometimes it's just like, you know, not that important anymore. Uh, but I can receive calls like, hey, Anastasia, I could not find the ATM or hey, I got lost, or something like this. I could not find the fridge, different types of questions. But the most important thing that you do have the person, you can ask those questions to while you're already here in Prague. And that's the most important thing. So for our students, we're organizing lots of activities. And usually during the year, it's very like plenty of them. It's two times per week, uh, all of the student, students gathering, students from International Student Network, uh, students from Erasmus Exchanges, students from different universities. So it's always like great connections that you can have. But even now when, when it's pandemic, we're still managing to, to have some entertaining, um, entertaining activities for our students. For example, last week, uh, we actually went um, sledging with our students. It was like not far from Prague, ended up having a couple of bruises, uh, but everyone was extremely happy. Everyone became like big, huge friends and they were friends before, but now they became friends with bruises. Um, and those are things that actually keep you connected here in Prague with people, uh, make your student life easier, because it's always good to know that there is someone, you know, you can you can rely on. Um, so, of course, this year, we are still not sure about the trips, like your trips. Um, but each year we are organizing for students um, those trips outside of Czech Republic. So it's not only inside of Prague, but usually it works in a way that we are gathering students. Uh, it's optional in case you don't want to go. It's completely up to you. Uh, but uh, as I told you, you can travel. You can travel a lot, the whole Europe, uh, but you can also travel with us. And uh, I can guarantee that it's a lot of fun. And uh, all of the crew of International Student Network, we are always coming with, with you and definitely enjoying the most. Uh, so as you can see, a lot of destinations, and this is just part of it. Each year they are changing. 
each year we are adding something new um, and so definitely we can guarantee that during your study uh, you will definitely you will enjoy you will connect uh, and uh, you will have this support of uh, international community here in Prague so international friends there is like the huge activity like their huge mix like huge mix of nationalities those are the ones that basically the most famous but apart from this there are plenty of students there are students from lebanon uh in case you've been wondering um, I don't, i'm not sure if we're having someone here from egypt but in case we do there are also students from egypt so you are always uh, will be able to connect and finally, I told you that you will have um, your student card, uh, but um, also you will have a card from International Student Network. And uh, this is like the huge bonus because uh, we are offering you discounts for some services that the normal ISIC would not give you. For example, Ryanair, in case we're traveling, uh, Flixbus, Flixbus uh, Cinema City, etc. A lot of things they're just like a couple basic one but having this card is basically giving you a lot of bonuses even when we are talking about some events that we are organizing you can just show the card that you're part of international student network uh, and you will have like you know you will have it open for you so this is definitely a good thing to know so I believe I can stop sharing the presentation so that you will you will see me a bit more right now. And in case you had any questions, I will be more than glad to answer all of them right now. Um, we actually have some students who missed the parts about uh, the fees of the universities and the scholarships that can be offered. So would you mind recapping on that? Definitely. Um, basically, the tuition fees, they depend on the chosen university. Uh, they start from 180 euros, um, which is like the minimum cost, uh, and they can get up to 14,000 euros in case this is medicine. In general, uh, tuition fees are around 4,000 euros, because for Prague University of Economics and Business, it's standard 3,800. And for most of the majors of Czech Technical University, it's actually um, 4600 so basically in average in average it's like four or five thousand euros depending which major you are interested in about the scholarships um once again i had the whole speech about how czech republic doing it with the students uh but um, regarding scholarship you will have a small scholarship for your casual expenses as an international student once you will arrive uh plus you will have a lot of discounts um and uh, if we can consider that as a scholarship you can study free of charge in czech language uh, there is no particular scholarship when it comes to English learning majors, the one that you would want to apply to. All right. And Avedis is also asking about the cost of the Euro trips and the other extracurricular activities. Uh, it always depends. Uh, it always depends. The cost is usually minimum. Uh, like, um, I don't know, for example, the whole trip that we had uh, next last week, uh, it was like 20 euros. And it included basically uh, the activities, it included the like transfer the whole bus that we had for all of the students there and back. And so when it comes to Euro trips, um, in it depends which destination is that, but usually it's very affordable and like, it's like, I don't know, 20 to 50 euros. In case this is some activities here in Prague, it can be like five euros up to 10 euros. So more depending on the activity, but uh, we're always trying to offer students the best rates. This is the first thing. And secondly, uh, it's not an obligation for students to come in case they would not want to, uh, but we, we literally never do have students skipping. So all of the students are trying their best to make it and actually uh, participate in all of the activities. All right. And Hiba is also asking if we have if you have any students from Morocco. Yes, yes, we, we did have students from uh, we did have uh, lots of students that actually are from Morocco, but they've been traveling uh, to Prague from United Arab Emirates uh, and the Jordan, etc. And uh, there are plenty of crew working, so I could not just say specifically like some cases where, you know, specifically from Morocco, but I personally do have uh, and communicating right now with a couple of students that are actually from Morocco. 
so yes, as I said, definitely doesn't matter which nationality you are, you will definitely be able to find uh, someone and, you know, feel like home in here. Uh, I actually have a question regarding uh, the difference between the foundation program and the direct program. Uh, can you comment about, uh, in your experience, the, the success rate of students who join the foundation program rather than direct? Like how that benefits them? Um, let's say those programs are different. It depends on what your, actually what your current language level and what you're looking for. So both programs, they do have a pretty good success rate. Like, as I said, 99% of students were accepted to university for direct admission. Um, when it comes to foundation, 100% of students are accepted after the foundation. As I said, you have a backup options. You can always apply. In terms of direct admission, uh, there is like the highest success of uh, visa acceptances, etc. So it's basically balancing each other. It all depends on the needs that you're having as a student. If, for example, you do not speak language or you want to make it smoothly, like the smooth transition, etc. Or if you are ready, you know, to start already in September in, in some bachelor or master's degree here in Prague. All right. Thank you. Um... That's it for the questions mainly. Uh, I just want to encourage everyone to let us know if you have any more questions. We're basically here to answer them. All right, and I promised that we would also share our contact details. So I'm gonna be posting them in the chat box right now. So if you guys have any questions about today's sessions, you can just contact us personally, Education Basket on WhatsApp or by email. I have added our details to the chat box. We can also put you in touch with Anastasia directly if you need to talk to her. So just once again, just don't be shy to ask any questions because uh, right now you should have plenty of them. Uh, it was like a huge amount of information that right now we went through. Uh, so don't be shy to ask any questions. We're always here for you, my colleagues from Education Basket, as well as uh, everyone from International Student Network. So we will see, we will be really happy to see you here um, in Prague very soon. And, and uh, definitely, I'm, I'm, thank, I'm grateful all of you for your time today during the webinar and looking forward once again to receive all of the questions. Uh, okay, Jessica, in case you do have something to add, please do. <laughs> in case not, I think we actually covered all of the information that we, we wanted to. Yeah, just want to make sure no one else has any questions. All right, so as I said, guys, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, I hope you found this session beneficial. In case you guys have any other questions, please feel free to get in touch with us. And I would just like to remind everyone that a copy of this webinar would be uh, up on our website soon. So in case you want to rewatch it or share it, then it will definitely be available in a few days. So that being said, I hope uh, everyone has a lovely evening and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you guys. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.